We were discussing the Euros, 100 days away from the European Championships. Who knows where they might be? They might be held at home. Earlier in the office, Dean Ashton and I tried to pick, uh, well, I say our England squads. Dino picked his, and then I tried to pick the squad that I truly believe Gareth Southgate will pick. I've got to say, I'm not expecting any sort of inspired choices from Gareth Southgate. I'm expecting him to basically go for tried and tested... And, and well, maybe- a, couple, a couple of his, a couple of things he said in his interview the other morning mm-hmm. with, with Laura and Ali and, and Darren was that he sort of said, "I'm looking for players that you know have got experience that mm-hmm. are going to fit into the way that we play in and out of possession, um, and maybe a couple of players that are in form." Which I think led to the fact, and then you made the point of who actually might get picked for his squad. M- will probably not reflect a lot of people's views mm. as who should go because he's got players that he's he likes he relies, he relies on, on mm. exactly and and I was thinking surely not but you you're adamant I, I I think he was almost laying the ground for I'm going to upset a lot of you here you know you all want these x factors players to be in the squad I think we've got enough of them we also need I think he mentioned the word pedigree and it was highlighted a little bit earlier on in drive by Adrian as well he wants some players that have got experience, that have been to some tournaments before, that maybe don't scream X Factor, the star of the future. Maybe aren't even the, the ones most in form in the league, but they're the ones he trusts. So I, I think, look, that that's the sort of manager he is. And I think he needs to do it his way as well. If he's going to go get knocked out in the group stage, which I think is unlikely, but he, he wants to manage his way. That's my point. If it goes badly, he wants to say, at least I did it my way. Probably won't go badly because there's so many talented players, but you know what I'm trying to say. A manager wants to have control. Yeah. So I pick the squad that I think he'll pick, and I think it's one that can play in a couple of different ways, 4-3-3 or 4-1-3-2 or 4, sorry, excuse me, 3-5-2 essentially. A three at the back or a five at the back, whatever you want to see it as. You go with yours first because you've gone for the X-Factor choices. Well, I said the other the other week about I, w- I would take all four of the sort of number 10s we're talking about, the you know Grealish, Mount, Foden, Madison. I, w- I would want all four of them in the squad that I would take. Which means I would have to maybe tweak things a little bit elsewhere. Um, so I would have Trent and Trippier and Walker as my right backs, but Walker could. And and I'm I'm going off Southgate playing a three at the back. Mm-hmm. I think he will mm-hmm. in, in the tournament. So I, I Walker's there more so as probably a right sided of the three. I then take Shaw because I think he's been in brilliant form all season I don't take Trippier I take Saka who I think can play either as a wing back or as a higher you know wide player Mm -hmm. or as a left back Mm -hmm. Um, I then take Stones and Maguire Mings and Cody because I think he'll play a back three and I really like Cody in a back three in the middle of of three uh, when I've seen him play Rice and Phillips are my two holders um, that that will be because I think I think he's likely to play two holding midfield players, but Henderson's going to be one of them. So Henderson's there, and one of Rice and Phillips. Then it gets a bit more difficult. I only take two strikers. I only take Same. Kane and Calvert Lewin because if Kane's fit, no other striker is going to play. Now, obviously, that you may be taking a gamble, but Rashford could play through the middle. Sterling could play through the middle essentially. Um, So I take my four, I take Mount, Grealish, Foden, Madison, all to play for the number 10 or a wide role. Rashford, Kane, Sterling, Sancho and Calvert-Lewin. Henderson, is he in your squad? Yes, I did say, yeah. So Rice and and Phillips, but Henderson's definitely going to be there. Mm -hmm. I would take him. He would have to play in midfield, and, start and, in and midfield. We agree on the goalkeepers, Pope, Pickford and Henderson. Yes. So I've only got two different choices to you in terms of the squad, I think. Uh, possibly three. In fact, three. The answer is three. I've brought Ben Chilwell to play left back. I've brought Eric Dyer, And I've brought Reese James to play right back. Um, everyone else is the same. So I've left out, compared to you, James Madison, Luke Shaw and Connor Cody. I think Eric Dyer gives him the ability to play a holding midfielder in the shape, in the position that Rice plays. 
in the same mould, I think, as Rice would play as well. And also, if he goes to a back three, he's got cover central defensively. I know Eric Dyer hasn't been in great form, but by the way, this is the squad that I think Gareth Southgate will pick. And Eric Dyer played a big part for him in the World Cup, and he trusts him. That's why I've included Eric Dyer. I think Chilwell's been England's left back for most of the last year, and I think it will be very difficult for um, Southgate to leave him out. And I think Rhys James makes it in. Um at right back, basically, because I think he's got the delivery. I think his defence isn't as good. I think he's more of an all-rounder. But you have Trent Alexander-Arnold yeah. and Trippier. And I have Trippier. And Walker. Yeah. yeah. And Rhys James. So you effectively have four right backs. Yeah. So, Wal- so, Wal- <laughs> so Walker is there to play, basically, as a back three. Right-hand side of a back three, which he's played for Southgate quite a lot. I think he's got Maguire and Stones. They would be the other players that can play in a back three. He's got a Mings, Maguire. He's got Dyer if he needs them to play in a back three. He can even play Kieran Trippier in a back three. So he's got his options there. I think in the fullback areas, he's played Kieran Trippier as a left back before. But I've also brought Bakayo Saka, who can play left back and he can play as a right wing forward, where he's playing for Arsenal at the moment and doing really well. Chilwell's there as a left back. And I think that's harsh on Shaw, but I think he trusts Chilwell at the moment. Henderson and Mount to play a, a midfield role, interchangeable. Grealish or Foden to play as a creative number 10. Left-hand side, Sterling and Rashford. Kane and Dominic Calvert-Lewin as his two strikers, with Rashford as a third choice. And then Sancho on the right-hand side with, with Saka, who I mentioned. So I'm leaving out Barnes, Madison, uh, wan Saka if he's still an England player at that point. Michael Keane, Danny Ings massively. Obviously, Barkley and Ali not there at the moment. Tammy Abraham doesn't make it sure. Calvin Phillips, Ward-Prowse, Greenwood and Cody, all of them, I think, will get left out by Gareth Southgate. And that shows the depth that England have and what a difficult decision it will be for him. Uh, Less than 100 days for now, but for the first game of the Euros. I think it's massive for him. He's got to get it right. And it's going to be a very, very, very tough choice. I think it's going to split opinion. Completely split opinion. I, there's no way he's going to win with the squad that he picks because I think we're all going to have our own opinion of who should go and who shouldn't go and what system you should play and therefore what players should be in that system. We want to see the best players, uh, the most talented players, uh, the ones that excite us to fit into an England side. But you just don't think he's going to take that route. I want people to remind me of this conversation. The next thing I say is very important. All journalists have to remember it. That decision is so difficult. There will be great players left out. So when that squad for the Euros is chosen, let's focus on the great players in it instead of the great players left out because there will be great players left out of that England squad. And let's hope for the England fans, they can go all the way and lift it at Wembley because it would be a great, great summer, especially after everything the world's been through. 